Um, I'm probably still pretty shocked. You know, we set off climbing this morning at 2 o'clock and um, hoping to climb Mount Hicks, which is the 23rd of um, the peaks that I'm doing in New Zealand, the 3,000-metre peaks, and <laughs> had done all the other ones with me. And um, and just absolutely bad luck and, you know, just to get caught in an avalanche like that. We were halfway up a slope and it just took us out. What happened, Jo? Well, it was not, wasn't quite light. And um, the it, it's a terrifying thing. It's a bit like the surf coming down on you, just um, a huge big wave of um, ice coming down the slope towards you and um, and it, um, I just got lucky that I landed with my face up and I could had a hand free and could clear my face you know shouted out for the others and heard nothing and it took me half an hour to get my locator beacon out and I got that activated but I was still totally stuck in the snow and it took me another half hour to an hour to extract myself. And so I was out of the snow by the time the, the rescue crew came. How did you know that you were facing upwards? How did you work it out? Oh, I don't think... Oh, they must have good spatial stuff. Acting on also, instinct. You know, you, I could feel when I stuck my hand up that I was, you know, put into air rather than into something solid. So I was very lucky that, that my position allowed me to actually clear my face and, you know, take a big breath and think, wow, let's hope no more comes down and, you know, keeps me um, trapped too. What but was... I didn't know what had happened to the boys at this stage. And what was going through your mind when you're under the snow, time is ticking on, you don't know how much time has passed, what's going through your head? Um, nothing much really. I must admit, I once I got my upper body out, I I looked at the view and I just was gobsmacked. I thought, isn't this amazing? And I know that's totally inappropriate, but it was just such a beautiful place, and the sun was just rising. And and at that stage, I knew that there was no response when I'd been shouting out for the boys. It was just. Um, I, I think I'm very, very um, lucky.